Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa Tapero. I am a Tsunami Program Coordinator with Washington Emergency Management Division. And I am coming to you today from beautiful Port Towns in Washington where I am visiting one of our 122 Tsunami Sirens. We have 122 Tsunami Sirens along both the inner and outer coast of Washington because all 3,000 miles of Washington coastlines are at risk for tsunamis. And these sirens are intended to be an outdoor warning system. That means that they are intended to warn people like myself right now and all of these people who are visiting at or near the beach when a tsunami might be on the way. Because when you're out here, you may not have other alert methods with you. For example, I have my phone with me, but I don't have great reception. So I may not get a tsunami alert through a wireless emergency alert or through some of the apps that I have downloaded because my phone is roaming. So if the siren goes off, I know something is approaching. These sirens have about a one mile audible range to them. And that's why we have so many so that they can cover all of those at risk areas. Now that one mile range depends on a lot of factors. If the wind is blowing in a certain direction or if there's a lot of rain, sometimes that brings that one mile radius down. It also depends where you're located in reference to the siren, because there could be physical barriers between you and the siren, such as trees, hills, buildings, that kind of thing. So if you live near the coast and you can't hear the siren that's near you, that could be why. We test the sirens once a month on the first Monday of the month at noon with the Westminster Chimes. This is so that we know all of our sirens are working and also so that you know where the sirens are, how loud they are, and what to do when you hear those sirens go off. So I'm gonna play that Westminster chime for you so you know what it sounds like. So that chime is followed by a message in English and Spanish explaining this is just a test of the siren system and that you don't need to worry. It's pretty loud if you're near the siren. I heard it today and it definitely carries. But again, if you're far enough away, you may not hear that. The other time that we audibly test the sirens is once a year on the Great Washington Shakeout. This is the third Thursday in October. And we usually test it around 10 in the morning. Now we do this test with the actual alert warning sound. So it's a wailing sound that we use when a tsunami warning has been issued. We test it once a year with this sound so that you, the public, know what that sound is like in case you hear it for an actual tsunami warning. So that message is also followed by something that tells you this is a test, it's part of the Great Washington Shakeout. And if you can, it, now is a good time to test your tsunami evacuation routes. So I'm also gonna play you what that warning wailing sound sounds like as well. So unlike the Westminster chimes, this is a very loud sound. It carries farther, it lasts longer, and it's also going to repeat during an actual tsunami event. So if you miss it the first time, you're definitely going to keep hearing it. Now, what do you do when you hear that sound? If you hear it outside of the Great Washington Shakeout, that means a tsunami is on the way. You want to grab your go bag, which you hopefully have with you within easy distance, and you wanna to head to your tsunami evacuation route, get to high ground or inland so you're out of that inundation zone. You can learn more about your tsunami evacuation route and more about our sirens by visiting our website, mil.wa.gov tsunami. You can listen to the audio files there so that you know what those sound like. You can look up your tsunami maps and you can also learn more about signing up for tsunami alerts in a lot of different ways. So thank you so much, and I hope that you too get a chance on a beautiful day like this to visit the siren that's near you.